unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. So God chose one people to be special unto himself. Come on. Above all people. Above who? All people. If he's talking about everybody, then who am I above? If he's talking about, I'm going to say it again. If he's talking about everybody, then who am I above? Right? This has to be talking about a specific people that's above everybody else. Right. That's what that that's what I just read. Read it again. Just that part. Above all people. The Lord thy God. Excuse me. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that. God chose one people to be above all other peoples. Did I just read that out the Bible? Did you just hear me read that out the Bible, brother? Did you hear that? God said he chose one people to be above all other people. Now let me ask you this. Is the so-called black man above all people on the face of the earth? No, he's not, unless he's running with a football in his hand, or if he's shooting a basketball, or if he's on stage making everybody laugh. That's the only time the black man is above all people. What leaders do we have in our community? You know the leaders in the black community are entertainers and 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 uh brother and uh brothers that can run fast and jump high. Those are the leaders in our community today. Who who are they? Are they the preachers? Are they the leaders? Which which preacher is a leader in our community? Which one is going out to the ghetto to clean this up? Which one? Tell me one. You can't think of one. Why? Because the black community don't have no leaders. You know who our leaders are? The other nations. We follow after everything all the other nations do around us. They've become our leaders. Right. That's who we follow today. You understand? That's who we follow today. All right? But if you want to be special, what you got to do? If you want to be special, what you got to do, sister? Are you going to are you going to be like if you want to be to be holy and to be special, that means the same thing, right? say for you to be special you gotta follow God's will I agree with you I agree with you sis now the question that I have is what is God's will according to the Bible what is God's will say it again what does it mean to be righteous I like the word I like your choice of words but everybody don't know what that means Must repent of our sins. I, I like that, but some some brothers think that that they can uh, share my wife. You understand? Some brothers have that mindset. Uh -huh. Brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Ain't it brothers out there that think they can share my wife? Or, or I'm talking another language right now. You understand? So what you're saying it sounds good to you. Right? But everybody don't have that same mindset. Yeah. Another brother would think he loving me like he loved himself because he wouldn't mind somebody doing that to his to his wife because he don't really treat her like a wife anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to come together and be on one accord when we say, I have to love my neighbor as I love myself. Right? Because what does that look like? It has to be objective. Right? It has to be a standard. There has to be a law. So we're going to stay right there with the will of God because I like what you said, right? To be holy means to be do the will of God, right? Well, the question that I have is, what is the will of God? We're going to read it out the Bible. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Bring it out. I delight to do thy will. Thy what? Thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So the, the law of God, all right, is what should be in our hearts. And when we have the law of God in our hearts, right, now we are doing the will of God. We can't do the will of God without what? God's laws. You understand what I'm saying? We can't do the will of God without God's laws. Give me 1 John chapter 3 verse 4, all right? We're going back to the basics. Why? Because we've fallen so far from the basics. We don't know the basics anymore. The pastors in our churches are not teaching us the basics. They're not. You know what they're teaching us? To pay your tithes. That's what they're teaching us. They're teaching you to to pay for your blessings. That's not in the Bible. You right. understand? You don't find that in the Bible.
tithing was for the Levitical priesthood. And it was food. It was uh, livestock. It was vegetables. You understand? That's what it was. It was never money. It was, tithing was never money. And it was for the Levitical priests. All right? And you had to, those Levitical priests atoned for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only. What the pastors are doing today is not biblical. All right? That's why they're repenting from that. You understand? It's, it's becoming common today for a pastor to say, yeah, I taught my congregation lies. I shouldn't have been teaching them to tithe because that's wrong. And the doctrine I've been teaching them is not right. You understand? Read that. What you got? The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin. Commit of what? Sin transgressive also the law. So I ask you, what is sin according to the Bible? Why did I ask you what sin was? Because God's, God's will is to do what? It's to keep his laws, right? We read that early. Now, what is sin according to the Bible? That's a question I have. What's your name, sis? Shauna. What's your name, brother? Eric. Say it again. Eric. Eric. Sha Shauna or Sean? Shauna and Eric. Shauna and Eric. Sean, I'm going to ask you first. No, I'm going to ask you, Eric. What's sin according to the Bible? Uh, bad stuff. It's bad stuff. Uh, Shauna, what's, what's sin according to the Bible? Anything that's underneath God's will. Make it plain for me. Make it plain for me. Breaking one of the Ten Commandments. I know everybody at one time. Eric, you go first. Go ahead. Breaking one of the Ten Commandments. All right. I like that. I like that. Eric said breaking one of the Ten Commandments. All right. That's a good start. That's a good start. What you got, sis? Anything that's not under the law of God. You say anything not. I like both of y'all answers together. All right. Because you said it's breaking any of the Ten Commandments. And you're right. You know why you're right? Because all the rest of the commandments fall under those ten. It's more than Ten Commandments in this Bible, right? Because is it is it okay for a woman and a woman to get married together? No, it's not. But what law is that in the Ten Commandments that says that a woman and a woman can't get married? It, it would fall under adultery. But does it say that a woman and a woman can't get married? Is that one of the Ten Commandments? No, it's not. I'm going to show you where it is. Hold that. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. This is where you will find that. Because today, America has legalized homosexuality. But I thought America was a God-fearing country. You see the hypocrisy? Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Right, so a man can't have sex with a man like he would a woman. Come on. It is abomination. It's filthy. The, the Bible called... The Bible, the Lord calls uh, a man having sex with a man an abomination. It's an abomination. Homosexuality, abomination. Lesbianism, uh, uh, a bisexual, that's all abominations according to God. But you don't find that in the Ten Commandments, do you? Right? But you, you, what you do find is thou shalt not commit adultery. Right? And homosexuality, homosexuality is going to fall under adultery. Right? So when you break the law of of, of, of homosexuality or the laws of marriage, what, what commandment are you breaking? Thou shalt not commit adultery. You understand? Anything outside of the lawful sex, the lawful order of marriage, all right, you're going to find yourself breaking. Thou shalt not commit adultery. All right? So the will of God is going to be this whole Bible. It's many, many laws. It's many more laws than Ten Commandments. All right? Just like the one we just we, we just went through about a man and a man and a woman and a woman, right? That's the law in the Bible, but you don't find that in the Ten Commandments. So sin is going to be breaking any one of God's laws, even if it's specifically not mentioned in the Ten Commandments, or even if you can't readily recognize it within the Ten Commandments, right? I'll give you another law. Go to Leviticus chapter 19 and verse, I think 28 is what I want, right? Because how many of us got tattoos out here? How many of y'all got tattoos, right? You got tattoos, raise your hand. I got a tattoo, all right? I, I'm not gonna get no more because I read in the Bible that you can't do that. You understand, you can't get tattoos. It's, it's a law against that, right? But if you didn't know that, you gotta repent and don't get no more tattoos. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead? God say don't make no cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Ain't that what we get tattoos of usually? Somebody die, what you get on your arm? Rest in peace or a picture or a name or something like that. Come on. No print. Any more. No what? No print. Any 
marks. When you get a tattoo, aren't you printing markings on your body? Ain't that what I just read? Come on. Upon you, I am the Lord. And you know what the irony is in all of this? We'll get, we'll get a picture of Jesus tatted on our arm. We get a, we get a picture of, of, of uh, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We get it tatted on our arm. But we breaking the law as we get the tattoo on our arm. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.